Hi guys, this is a video on adding one-click access to various parts of your system to your Windows 7 Superbar. So you can see here I have my user profile folder, my recycle bin, computer and a random folder. If I try and drag these to the Superbar you can see it says pin to Windows Explorer. Letting go, you can see it's pinned it inside this area. So if I do the same with recycle bin, same with computer, same with random folder, they all get pinned inside this area. Now this can be useful if you need all these locations in one place, but not useful if you need one click access to all of these folders. So let me give you an example. I want to go to my computer, I have to right click this and then click computer, or I have to drag this up and click computer. Now that's the same amount of clicks I would have if I went to the start button and went to computer. So there's not really any point in me putting those there. So I'm just going to unpin a few. Now something else that I found strange about this icon here. If you right click the start button, go to properties, go to the start menu tab, and then have a look at the privacy area. You can see I've unticked already, store and display recently opened items in the start menu and the taskbar. But if I was to untick store and display recently opened programs in the start menu, click apply, and then try and drag one of these down, so for example computer, you can see it's got that little red thing and it doesn't pin it anymore. Anything here will not pin inside that icon. Now this can actually be useful. If I OK this and make a shortcut on my desktop and say C Windows Explorer.exe or in just Explorer.exe, I'm not sure if that will work as well. And then in quotes, type the location that you want it to go to, and then click next. And then it doesn't really matter what name it is, click finish, and then drag this down. You can see it said pin to taskbar, and it's now pinned it as an extra icon. Normally, this would be put inside here as a pinned object. So now clicking this gives me one click access to my C drive. Now this isn't very useful either because if you have multiple uh, icons with all different locations, which is what you probably want to do, and you right click, right click this, go to properties, you'll notice there's a change icon button. Clicking that and trying to change the icon, clicking OK, does not actually change the icon inside on the on the uh, super bar. So you always end up with the same icon, you can't change it. Now that's not very useful. So we need another way to go around this. Now. If you know from Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows 2000, blah blah blah, uh, there's something called the Quick Launch, and you may notice as you install programs on Windows 7 that it still asks to install things to the Quick Launch. Now you still have a Quick Launch folder on your system, and Quick Launch still does exist inside Windows 7. Now the folder that you're looking for is actually this, and I will paste the uh, link inside uh, the description on YouTube, and as you can see mine's currently empty. Now what we can actually do is start dragging icons into this quick launch, and then we can add this inside the taskbar. So if we right click this and unlock the taskbar first, right click the taskbar and go to toolbars and then new toolbar, and then paste in the location again, and then go to select folder, you can see we've now got a quick launch bar inside the super bar. So you would have thought that the super bar would have overtaken that, however quick launch is still available. So computer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and shift and I'm going to create a shortcut to that inside the quick launch bar. Down here you can see it's already added it and there we are, there is the shortcut. That's not very useful because I just want to have it as an icon. So I'm going to right click this area here just to the left of the quick launch text and then I'm going to untick show text and I'm going to untick show title. So there we go, we now have a computer icon that's on the bottom right, I can click it and there we go, straight away into my computer, it hasn't pinned it anywhere and it's got its correct icon. So I can do exactly the same with the recycle bin and you can see it's added it there, all I need to do is drag this little thing across and there we go, I now have one click access to the recycle bin so I can now hide the recycle bin from my desktop, right click this and I can empty the recycle bin in a small icon on my system. Again, control shift with the random folder, control shift with the Duncan folder, oops, uh, delete the extra one there, and then again dragging this over and I now have one click access to all those folders, you can even uh, enable these options again if you want to for the future for adding things so to click OK and then I still have all those pinned items there but I do have those things so I can now lock the taskbar you can see I've got these extra folders I can drag this across if I want to make it even closer to the system tray or move it towards the uh, super bar icons that are currently there and you still get that pinning functionality all you need to do is drag the icons inside this location right here so I'll provide this in the description so thanks for watching my video I hope you guys have understood this uh, please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again